Hey guys, PS1 Collector Forever One here, and it's been a long time, it's been like 5-6 months since I made a video, but I'm sure you could tell by the uh, picture, or the video, as well as uh, the title. This will be my PS1 collection, and I love the PS1 guys, I could not say enough great about it. It is mainly based on nostalgia, but I also really really love the system, but uh, mainly nostalgia is what got me into collecting this full thing. And I'm going for a full PS1 collection, and right now I'm at about 330 games, and uh, I'd say I've gotten about probably 200 games since I last made a video, so I thought, why not show off the collection, and as you can see behind me, I'm sure, uh, this is my PS2 collection, I'll do a PS2 collection video soon, but uh, PS1 is definitely my favorite system of all time, so on to the show. And to start things off, we got 007 Tomorrow Never Dies. 3 Extreme. Love the 3 Extreme games. 1 Extreme, 2 Extreme, 3 Extreme. Really love them. They're kind of like, I want to say Road Rash meets like rollerblading and biking and skateboarding. 40 Winks. Oh, and this one's really weird. It's got a comment from uh, Official Nintendo Magazine at the bottom, which is weird. This is a PS1 only game. Kind of funny to see, but 101 Dalmatians 2 Patches London Adventure. Disney Pixar Bugs Life had this growing up. It's a pretty cool platformer. It's very kiddish, but definitely check it out if you're into platformers. Action Bass. A collection of Activision games for the Atari 2600. Air Hockey. Agile Warrior. Which number is this? I don't even know what number that is, guys. But it's one of those long box jewel case variant games. I love trying to get the jewel case version of the long box games if they were released. Iron and Blood, Warriors of Ravenloft, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, and Akuji the Heartless. All Star Racing, All Star Racing 2, All Star Slam and Ball. Believe it or not, this is actually pretty fun. My cousin and I played it a bit, and it's still pretty fun. We enjoyed it. Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. Love survival horror games. American Pool. Arcade Party Pack. Love this because it has Rampage on it. Rampage is one of my favorite games of all time. Midway Arcade Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection. That has Paperboy, Gauntlet, Road Blasters, Crystal Castles, Marble Madness, and Millipede. Those are cool. I love the compilation games for any system. Our Marines Project Swarm. Army Men 3D. Army Men Air Attack. And this is Asteroids, a remake of the uh, original Asteroids. Atari Anniversary Collection Redux. Let's see what this has on it. Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Battlezone, Black Widow, Centipede, a lot of games actually. Best ones are like Pong and Missile Command and Asteroids. Atlantis Lost Empire. ATV Quad Power Racing. Austin Powers Pinball, kind of a bad pinball game. Auto Destruct. Baldies. This is a game I could see uh, getting pretty rare down the road. It's a rarity three right now, but I could see it going for a bit of money down the road. Ball Breakers. What a weird title. Beyblade. Bear in the Big Blue House. Big Air. Big Bass Fishing, Big Strike Bowling, Black Bass with Blue Marlin, Block Kids, this is a Rarity 4, this is another game I can see going up in value, Blood Omen Legacy of Kane, this is a classic guys, definitely pick it up if you're a PS1 fan, Blue's Big Musical, Bob the Builder Can We Fix It, The Bombing Islands, Bowling, Boxing, Brats, Breath of Fire 3. This is about a $30 game. It's a pretty cool RPG. Broken Helix. Terrible game. Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror. I actually really like this game. It's a point-and-click adventure. Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling, which is a rarity for, but it's not expensive or anything. 
and Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling too, which is a rarity six, but again, it's not expensive or anything. I'm sure this is known among PS1 fans. Well, it is known among PS1 fans, being one of the worst games of all time. Bubsy 3D. Bug Riders. Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. First Rick Wakeboarding. Bust a Groove. This is actually like a $60 game. It's pretty cool. I think it's a rarity 6. Buster Bros Collection. This is like Super Bubble Pop. It's an awesome game. C12 Final Resistance. Cabela's Big Game Hunter. Caesar's Palace 2000. Card Games. Cardinal Sin. Celebrity Deathmatch. Chess. The Chess Master 3D. Chicken Run. Chrono Cross is about a $20, $25 game. It's a Squaresoft game before they went into Square Enix, and it's a pretty cool RPG. Codename Tanka. Tell you the truth, I'm not big in RPGs, so those guys, those guys. Colony Wars Vengeance. Cool Borders 2. Cool Borders 4. Cool Borders 2001 and Contender. My favorite Cool Borders is probably Cool Borders 4. I think it's the best one of them all. Countdown Vampires. Courier Crisis. And Crash Bandicoot. This is an amazing game. One of my favorite PS1 games for sure. Crash Bandicoot 2 with the lenticular cover. Crash Bandicoot 3 with the lenticular cover. Best one of those three, in my opinion, is Crash 3. Creatures. And this one's a little bit more uncommon. Creatures Raised in Space. Crime Killer. Critical Depth. Croc. I find this really hard to find black label. Normally it's greatest hit, so I'm happy to have the black label. Croc 2. Crossroad Crisis, Crusaders of Might and Magic, Cubics Robots for Everyone, Cyber Tiger, Dance Dance Revolution, Dance Dance Revolution Konomics, Danger Girl, Dark Stone, this is actually supposed to be a really bad RPG, but to tell you the truth, guys, I didn't mind it at all when I played it. Death Trap Dungeon. Dexter's Laboratory Mandark Slab. Digimon World 3, which is actually like a $50 game. Dino Crisis. And Dino Crisis 2. These are great games. Dinosaur. Discworld 2, that's like a $30 game. Disney Story Studio Mulan. And Donald Duck Going Quackers. Dragon Tales Dragon Seek. Driver. That's a classic. It's a little bit dated now though. Duke Nukem Total Meltdown. And actually I'm going to put all these other games down, so I want to talk about this one for a second. Easter Bunny's Big Day. I don't know if you guys know it that well, but um... It's a little bit weird. It's a rarity six from what I've seen, but I've heard it only sold in the hundreds. Like it never reached a thousand in sales, which would make it a huge rarity. Like it'd make it like a nine. Um, but this is really, really uncommon. From what I've heard, it's a, like not sold in the hundreds or only sold in the hundreds, like I said. But um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, and it's also got the blue uh, spine, which apparently was a was a printing error, but I don't know what to say, guys. Like, I don't know if this is a rarity, like, 4, 5, or 6. Like, it's uncommon, but it's not rare. Or if it's, like, rarity 9, like, it's super, super rare, because it hasn't sold in thousands, apparently. But, uh, anyways, I played this for about 45 minutes, actually. It took that long to beat it. It was a really short game. And I obviously don't, didn't enjoy it. Like, it was a dumb kids game, but I thought it was fun to play, uh, since it was so rare, and 45 minutes all it took to beat it. 
Anyways, moving on. This is another rare game. Echo Knight. Eliminator. The Emperor's New Groove, which I actually had when I was younger. And it's a pretty cool game. Epidemic, which comes with stickers uh, for a memory card. Eternal Lies, which is an RPG. And Expendable. Extreme Go-Karting. Extreme Pinball. Family Game Pack. FIFA 2001, FIFA 2002, Final Fantasy Chronicles, which is Final Fantasy 4 and Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy Origins, which is Final Fantasy 1 and 2, and of course can't have an RPG collection or a PS1 collection without Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, and I don't have Final Fantasy IX yet. I've had it in my collection, but since I'm such like a picky collector, like I only want mint games, I uh, resold it because it had like flaws or whatever, and it wasn't near mint or whatever. Flintstones Bedrock Bowling, Fox Sports Golf 99, Ford Racing, Freestyle Borden 99, which is kind of weird. It's a Capcom game, and I've never seen Capcom make any sports games really. Frogger. And Frogger 2. These are remakes of uh, the original Froggers. They're pretty cool. They're expanded into like a 3D world and they're bigger levels. And I, I really enjoy them. Future Cop LAPD. That's like a $15, $20 game, Future Cop LAPD. The Game of Life. Gex, which is a long box slash jewel case variant game. Gex Enter the Get-Go, which I believe is the third one. And Glover. Some people uh, know it, but most don't. Like, I didn't even know it, to be honest with you, that Glover was out for the PS1. Uh, the N64 versions, like, got rave and reviews. Like, it got 9 out of 10s and stuff. And then um, the PS1 version was horrible. Like, it was really bad. It got, like, 3s out of 10s. Golden Glory, The Road to El Dorado. Gran Turismo. And Gran Turismo 2. They're a little bit dated, but they're still lots of fun, the Gran Turismo's, even though I think 6 is the most recent one. Gran Turismo 1 and 2 are still fun now and then. Grand Theft Auto. And Grand Theft Auto 2. These are bird's eye view. Nowhere near as good as, like, the newer ones, obviously, but they're still fun to play every now and then. Grudge Warriors. And Gunfighter, The Legend of Jesse James. Golden Nugget. HBO Boxing. And the Hive, which is a really has a really scratched case, as you can see. I need to replace it. But uh, it's a Rarity 5. I haven't played it too much. I'll have to play it more to tell you more about it. But I got it through the Rarity 5. Hooters Road Trip, which is an awful game. Hoshigami Ruining Blue Earth, which is an Atlas RPG. Hot Shots Golf. IHRA Drag Racing. And The Incredible Hulk, The Pantheon Saga. This is a cool game, actually. I'm not like a superhero game fan or anything, but I did really enjoy The Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man on the PS1. Inspector Gadget, Gadget's Crazy Maze, Intellivision Classics, the same as the uh, Activision one except with Intellivision games. Invasion from Beyond. I definitely recommend picking those up if you're an Intellivision fan or an Atari fan or just a retro game fan. Try out the originals. Iron Soldier 3. Irritating Stick. The Italian Job, horrible game. It has, like, I kid you not, probably over a minute load times. Jarrett Labonte Stock Car Racing. I should make a video one time, uh, videotaping the load times on Italian Job. Jeopardy. Jeopardy 2nd Edition. Jeremy McGrath, Supercross 98. And Jersey Devil. It's like a $30 uh, platformer. It's It's got mixed reviews. I love platformers, so I mean, I'm a little bit... As long as it's decent, I'll love it, you know what I mean? I'm a big platformer fan, so this is pretty good. But uh, it's got like 5 out of 10, so I wouldn't play it. But um, $30, bucks or $30 game is great for the collection. Jet Moto and Jet Moto 2. These are classics. They're a little bit dated now, I'm not going to lie, but they're still lots of fun. And Jimmy White's Cue Ball 2. Johnny Bazooka Tone, a long box jewel case variant. This is a bad game. Knockout Kings. Knockout Kings 2000, and Knockout Kings 2001, and Kiss Pinball, which 
is obviously based off the band KISS, but it is a horrible game. Like, they don't even have KISS music in a KISS game. Like, that's ridiculous to me. Land Before Time, Great Valley Racing Adventure. Kickboxing, surprisingly, this is a rarity 5. Kingsfield 2. Largo Winch, Commando Sar. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Not as good, in my opinion, of course, as uh, Blood Omen. But still a solid game and a solid addition to the Legacy of Kane series. Legend of Lagai, it's like a $50 game. Lego Racers, I believe this covers Sun Faded, but this is an awesome game. I had it as a kid. Lemmings and Oh No More Lemmings. Looney Tunes Sheep Raider. Lost World Jurassic Park, I love this cover. It's like, uh, it looks like the claw's coming at you. M&M Shellshocked, it's a platformer based off the M&M candies, and uh, it's not a bad platformer, not that great though. Madden 2000, Madden 2005, March Madness 98 with Tim Duncan on the cover, I'm a big basketball fan. Mary-Kate and Ashley Crush Course, Mary-Kate and Ashley Winter Circle, Mass Destruction, Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor Underground. Medal of Honor is a pretty great series. Medieval. I love this game. Pick it up anytime you see it. It's like a $25 game. Men in Black, the series Crashdown. I don't have the original Metal Gear, but I do have Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Miracle Space Race. Miss Spider's Tea Party. Missile Command. MLB 99. MLB 2000, MLB 2001, MLB 2004, and this one I always find greatest hits, but it's rare to find black label, at least where I am, so I'm happy to have a black label, it's Monopoly, Mork the Chicken, Motocross Mania, Motocross Mania 2, Mr. Driller, which is actually a rarity 5 and it's not a bad game at all. And Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, which is basically Pac-Man uh, World, except we Miss Pac-Man, obviously. MTV Music Generator. MTV Sports Pure Ride. Muppet Race Mania. N2O Nitrous Oxide. Nanotech Warrior. NASCAR 99. NASCAR Rumble. NBA Live 2001, NBA Shootout 97, NBA Shootout 2004, back when Chase McGrady was an animal in the NBA, NCAA Final Four 2000, Nectarus Military Madness, that's like a $30 game, Need for Speed High Stakes, and the next Tetris, this is my favorite Tetris game, a bunch of NFL game, games coming up, NFL Blitz, 2000, NFL Blitz 2001, NFL Game Day 98, NFL Game Day 99, NFL Game Day 2000, NFL Game Day 2001, NFL Game Day 2003, NFL Game Day 2004, NFL Game Day 2005, NFL Extreme, NHL 99, NHL 2000, NHL 2001, NHL Power Play 96, NHL Rock the Rank, Ninja Shadow of Darkness, a great game, No One Can Stop Mr. Domino, another great game actually, North by Northwest, The Return of the Lost Vikings, I really like the Lost Vikings games, it's Lost Vikings 2 after the Super Nintendo Sega Genesis 1, and I really like the Lost Vikings games. Orgi Trying, Oddworld Abe's Exodus, and Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. I prefer Abe's Exodus, but they're both classic. Olympic Summer Games, and this one's a weird one. It's one for the PS1. Parasite Eve, Survival Horror RPG, pretty cool. Patriotic Pinball, Fixie Adventure, Pinobi, Pipe Dreams 3D, Planet of the Apes, Pong, The Next Level, 
Cool Hustler, pick this up if you're a PS1 collector. It's a Rarity 7, but it only goes for like 4 or 5 bucks, so pick it up before the price maybe goes up. Populous the Beginning. Power Play Sports Trivia. Power Puff Girls Chemical Extraction. Pro Pinball. Pro Pinball Big Race USA. Fantastic Journey. And Cyberdeck. This is another game pickup if you're a PS1 collector. Because it's not too expensive, but it is rare. Punky Skunk. Putter Golf. Puzzle Star Sweep. And this one I actually really like, even though it's one of those like $10 value bin titles. Puznik. Qbert. RC Stunt Copter. Racing. Rage Ball. Rainbow Six, R4, Ridge Racer Type 4, Tom Clancy Rogue Spear, Rampage World Tour, which is a great PS1 game actually, it's one of my favorite games, I mentioned it with Arcade Party Pack, I love Rampage, Rascal, which is an awful platformer, Rayman Rush, RC to go, it's pretty uncommon, but it's not rare, Resident Evil Survivor, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Resident Evil Director's Cut, Rescue Heroes Molten Menace, Rescue Copter, Renegade Racers, which has a water damage back insert, Regrets in Paris the Movie, Roll, Sta Roll Cage Stage 2, Rogue Trip Vacation 2012, Rock'em Sock'em Arena, Robotron X, Roadsters, which is a rarity 7, but it's like not even 5 bucks. Rising Zon, the Samurai Gunman. Rugrats Studio Tour, I had this as a kid, it's a great game. Running Wild, again I had it as a kid, it's a great game. And this one has stickers in it for a memory card as well. Rushdown, Sesame Street Sports. Obviously I'm not going to play it, but I'm happy to have it because, like I said... Uh, kids games are really hard to find in nice shape. Saltwater Sport Fishing. Sammy Sosa High Heat 2001, which comes with two manuals. One's, uh, a, like a strategy guide, so make sure you get both for your collector. Scrabble. Shadow Man. Awesome on the N64, not so great on the PS1. Shadow Master. And Shadow Tower. This is like King's Field. Sheep. Shell Shock, another jewel case long box variant. Shipwreckers, and Shooter Space Shot, Shooter Space Fighter Sandbeam, or Starfighter, sorry, Silent Hill, a classic, Simpsons Wrestling, Bad Game off a good TV show, Sim Theme Park, Skeleton Warrior, again, Jewel Case, Long Box Variant, Skydiving Extreme, Sled Storm, Smurf Racer, Racer, Snowcross, Snowboarding, Sorcerer's Maze, South Park uh, Chef's Love Shack, and South Park Rally. Horrible games. Sports Superbike 2, Spec Ops Covert Assault, Spec Ops Stealth Patrol, Speed Punks, great game. Speed Racer, Rarity 7. Speedball 2100. Spice World. Spin Jam. This one's hard to find Black Label, at least again, where I'm from. I don't know how hard it is to find where you are, but for me, Black Label's hard to find greatest hits everywhere. SpongeBob Super Sponge. Spot Goes to Hollywood. Rarity 7, but it's only like $10. Spyro the Dragon, my favorite game of all time. Amazing platformer. Spyro the Dragon 2, Ripto's Rage. Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Star Wars Dark Forces. Star Wars Demolition. Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. Street Racquetball. 
Stuart Little 2. Had that when I was growing up. It's a great game. I like the movie too, actually. And there goes Stuart Little 2. Super Bubble Pop. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Super Cross 2000. Superstar Dance Club. Sydney 2000. And Siphon Filter 2. Tiny Tank. Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 3. Tomb Raider Chronicles. And Tomb Raider Last Revelation. Great series. Tomba. Rare game. Awesome game. Definitely pick it up if you ever see it. Tonka Space Station. Toonenstein Dare to Scare. Top Gun Fire at Will. Long box slash jewel case variant game. Treasure Planet. Turbo Prop Racing. Twisted Metal 2. And this one's a rare game. Pretty good game too. It's an Atlas platformer. Tail Concerto. Tail of the Sun. Rarity 7. Tall Infinity. This one's hard to find black label here as well. Tarzan. Tecmo Stackers Rarity 5. Tecmo Super Bowl Rarity 5, Tecmo World Cup Golf, or World Golf, I don't know why I said World Cup, Tempest X, Tennis, Test Drive Off-Road 3, Thunder Truck Rally, Tigger's Honey Hunt, Time Commando, Time Crisis Project Titan, UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship, Ultimate 8 Ball, Um Jammer Lammy, VIP, V Rally 2 Need for Speed, Vandal Hearts, Vigilante 8, VR Baseball 97, War Jets, War Zone 2100, WCW Mayhem, WWF Warzone, Weakest Link, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune 2nd Edition, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 2nd Edition, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 3rd Edition, Wild 9, Great Platformer, Williams Arcade Hits, Arcade's Greatest Hits, sorry, Winnie the Pooh Kindergarten, Winnie the Pooh Preschool, World Cup Golf, World Destruction League Thunder Tanks, Wrecking Crew Rarity 6, ESPN uh, X Games Pro Border, and The X Files, X Blades Inline Skater, Xeno Warrior Princess, which is super sun faded, XS Junior Football, XS Moto, You Don't Know Jack. Zaboomafu, Xevious 3D slash G plus, You Don't Know Jack Mach 2, Madden NFL 2001, I just picked those up the other day, I almost forgot to show them. This is uh, another thing I got, it's Lightspan, they're, they're basically kids games, or uh, learning games, and what you get is, these were sold to only schools, let me add that, and what you get is a box, um, and little dividers in it, with each game name on it. And then the disc in a sleeve with an explanation of the game and the disc on the back. I have about 50 of these. And the rarest thing of all and the last thing to end it is Factory Sealed Team Buddies VGA Graded. I got this for like 180 which is a great deal. Mentioning they're on there uh, on eBay for like 300 So this is a great game and it's also super rare. So when that happens prices tend to go way up. So this got an 80 plus which isn't bad but it could be higher. But, like, looking at it, there's nothing wrong with it. Happy to have it. Rarest thing I have in my collection so far. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Like I said, I'll do my PS2 collection next. And then I have my PSP down there. I don't know if you can see it. And my PS3 on another shelf in the corner. Um, my PS1 and 2 are the biggest for sure, though. So, do those two first. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. And, th yeah, thanks for watching.